this game. Third and 15 for Georgia. The 11th play of the drive. Stafford incomplete for Bailey. And he overshot his receiver. That might have been. And he was open. Here's Brandon Patoon from 48 yards out. An all SEC place kicking selection, but this time hooking it a little bit to the left. He's a senior here next year, but you know, you guys got to make plays. And on the O line, where everything happens, where we have it 6 4 3 0 oh, 7. That's what I'm talking about, the big boy. You hate me. I just hope they hate me after the game Saturday night, Mark. <laughs> He's consistent, and the defense comes up with a sack back at the 31 yard line, their second of the game. This time it was 50 yards rushing against Louisiana Lafayette. Third down and long, 19 to go out of the backfield. Thomas Brown gets back some of the yardage out to the 40-yard line. It'll be fourth down. Davis in the ball game. A couple of running backs. Mitchell with time. Completes it to McKinley for the first down at the 33-yard line of the Bulldogs. Brought down 235 pounds and can fly. Little screen pass complete to Cook. Cook, a good runner as a tight end inside. About your performance as a player and a coach, but you got to love it because he says what is in his heart now. Sure. On Georgia and Ray Goff here, back in the early 90s, these Georgia fans have never forgot it. Touchdown. Boyd with a great shake and move on Keelan Johnson in the Gamecocks score first. And Mark, we talked about Keelan. Corey Board with his third rushing touchdown of the season. Had a couple last week in that win against Louisiana Lock South Carolina tonight. That was uh, Tyrone Nix, the defensive coordinator uh, on the sideline earlier, telling us that uh, the defense could have used a little more fire and brimstone last week. And a hot rope thrown complete. No shot. I praise a little receiver screen. Looks like they're going to try and throw it again, but South Carolina reading it well. The ball loose. A.J. Bryant was there trying to throw it. Defense of Georgia. Stafford throws behind his intended receiver. That was Sean Bailey. Behind the quarterback, Blake Mitchell, making his first start of the season. They hand it off to Culliver. And he gets a first down out beyond the 30 to the 33-yard line. here on third down and about five. A little blitz coming. Mitchell has a receiver and overshot him at the five-yard line. The entire sideline group really erupted, recognizing Muhammad Masakwa's contribution on the play, and that is a nice contribution by Trip Champ. Henderson in motion to the top of your screen. Play fake by Stafford, and this is Sutherland out of the backfield. He led the team in scoring a season ago, and when he touches the ball, he stayed at 10 rushes for 41 yards so far in this game. This is his understudy, Moreno. Turning the edge, and Moreno got a nice block by Chandler. I think that's what Greg Schiano is doing a much better job of now, keeping these guys in the state now. Well play of the drive. They come back the opposite way. Receiver screen. Well read by that Gamecock defense. Brandon Petuin to attempt the field goal from 33 yards out. And he knocks it through. And Georgia is on the scoreboard. It is set. And I see they have the talent level. Got some guys running wild and fast on the field. Davis out of the backfield right near another. About that statement after this play. Second down and three. And a first down by Davis with four yards to spare. So Bob qualified be enough to be admitted. And what were those two young men told, Mark, when they made their official visit? Mo Brown and Freddie Brown to the top of your screen. Mitchell fumbled it. Oh, he dropped the ball. <laughs> They never got out of the starting blocks on that one, and it's for the field goal attempt. This one coming from oh, about 42, 41 yards out. And he knocks it through. South Carolina influences include B.W. Underwood, as well as his former high school coach, Raymond Townsend. Here's Bailey on the run, and Bailey's going to be run down. Bob, you talked about it before. This Gamecock defense has... Championship, the Chevy... Rock and roll 400 for Richmond, Mark, no? And speaking of rock and roll, 
Marino across midfield and down to the 41 yard line on the explosive burst. Now Bob coming into the ball game with two of 14 on third down a two tight end formation and they give it to Brown and he's got stopped up short of the first down tripped up but all of a sudden now this is not quite as manageable a fourth down as he thought it's a long two a little play fake by Stafford he couldn't sell it nobody was buying and Norwood sacks him at midfield I said bite the cheese. You kind of understood it. I like I that. Understand that <laughs> in they wouldn't move. They didn't give an inch. The pass complete at the 22. And the offense now on the move. Kenny McKinley with the catch. On third and five. A three receiver formation. Mitchell, a quick three step drop. Goes back to Brown this time. No disputing that. It's for a 10 point lead. Suffolk further quieting, silencing field goal to show after almost three quarters. First down and ten. Stafford with another play fake. Wide open in the middle of the field, complete to Trip Chandler. Pulling by ten points. Georgia's won five consecutive games against their rivals from just three hours away. Stafford throws another dart, complete at the 30-yard line. This one to Durham. To senior all SEC a season ago. He is the older, actually younger of the twins by a couple of minutes. Stafford downfield, incomplete at the two yard line. In and out of the arms of Mo Brandon Katu. This one coming from 44 yards out. Katu, an all SEC selection, knocks it through. Boyd. Trying to make a move and nowhere to go. It'll be fourth down coming up. Falling under a little bit more scrutiny now with his team trailing by seven points. He actually started calling the plays in the third last game of last season. Stafford with a little room to move. And what a catch by Massacor. First down, George after pick third down and nine coming up for the Bulldogs. They haven't done well on third down conversion. Stafford incomplete at the 37 yard. Or he'd be more upset if they didn't hit him. Well, you got that right. <laughs> and off. This is Davis with the first down and then some. Taking care of that football, covering it. It's quarterback under center as you see Blake Mitchell check off. Tried to hit the hot receiver. Boy, they got a very fortuitous bounce that time. Complete to number 82, Freddie Brown. Mitchell. Has time and delivers a strike at the 34-yard line. This one to Jared Cook. Do not turn the ball over if you're South Carolina. They're going to throw it dangerously into coverage. Wow, Bob. Four yards out. He's already connected on two from 41 and 35 yards away. And this one is right between the pipes. <laughs> South Carolina in control. Irving, Why'd you man. like that so much? I just like TCU and how they play defense. I think Texas is struggling right now. And defense, the story of the day here in Athens, Georgia, albeit the South 16 on that play. Bulldogs got to get busy. They trail by 10. And another completion right at the first down marker at the 34 yard line. To Underneath, Marino with the first down near the 20 yard line for the Bulldogs. A pickup of 12 and this minutes to go. Henderson in motion. Stafford incomplete in the end zone. And he got rid of it just in time because he took 39 yard field goal attempt coming up. And this one is just inside that left upright by Brandon Katu. Technique. McKinley, meanwhile, with six catches for 95 yards. Little receiver screen complete for the first down. McKinley wants Georgia. Third and ten. They've got to get to the 47. Mitchell oh. incomplete, almost intercepted at midfield. Asher Allen was there. Fourth down coming up with 6.17 to go. 
Suffolk standing on his own 23. Good snap. An end over end punt. Highly returnable. Henderson got a block on the edge. Mikey Henderson beyond midfield. That's the play that they were looking for. Dan and Georgia's engine starting to rev up. That was Sean Bailey on the catch, working against Captain Munnellin. <laughs> this is a playoff game right now on September 8th. It's all the marbles right now on this on this game for the Southeast Conference East. And right now, Georgia's Marino answering the immediacy and finality of the challenge. Got a good block from Chester territory with 4:50 to go. Heat coming. And incomplete. Oh, that was in about two or three different sets of hands. One of the guys that couldn't hold it was defense. That you've got to come up with a three and out almost for the offense. The two, which is now routine for him, not sits here. Mike Davis in a tailback. And Davis on the carry. Nice seam over the left side. And he picks up a first down out to the 38 yard line. They get to the quarterback. Boyd back in, as I mentioned, doing it on the ground across midfield. Another first down. These Georgia Bulldogs. They run it again. Boyd with another huge chunk of real estate for the first down. Anderson with a good block up front. And right now, this is a macho type of game up front. And Mike Davis in a tailback. Third down and about four to go. Reverse and Georgia was waiting home on it. Marcus Howard. And now it's fourth down. That's what they had a lot of last week against Oklahoma State. Stafford complete to Sutherland, a reliable target out of bounds. South Carolina poised and ready for the upset here with under a minute to go. There it is. And the pass is complete right near that G at the 47 yard line in South Carolina. But if they can hold on here, Mark, this is a huge win for South Carolina. It would be a defining win during the short tenure for Steve Spurrier. This one up for grabs, jump ball, and knocked away. It's picked off by Brinkley. Jasper Brinkley, and that might just do it with six seconds to go. This South Carolina defense and this football team's for real. They showed a lot of fight and a lot of heart in here tonight. That's a huge win right there. And you would think the result of the win, big things popping for the South Carolina Gamecocks this year. As they defeat Georgia, Kansas were 1-0 in the SEC. But that's a heck of a 1-0. Final score 16 12 for the game pass. For more on this game, click over to ESPN News. It's been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader for Bob, Stacy, I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. Right now, we take you out to Auburn with Dan Fouts and Tim Brent.